One of the really convenient features that Zoom offers is the capability to send files to participants in a meeting. This could be useful in a friends and family meeting, an online class or a business meeting. In this video tutorial, I'll cover the basics of sharing files using Zoom. We'll look at two scenarios. First, a host sharing a PDF document with all participants in the meeting. The second scenario I'll look at is a participant sending a Word document or any other digital file for that matter to only the host. First of all, let's start with the host sending out a PDF document to all participants in the meeting. I'll click on the Manage Participants button. And you'll see on the right hand side that I've already got a few participants in this meeting. I'll also click on the chat button at the bottom of the Zoom window so that the Zoom group chat panel is also visible on the right hand side. Let's say I want my students in this case to do a bit of reading for homework. I'm going to send that out to them using instant chat. Something important to be aware of here because I'm sharing this document via instant chat. Anyone who joins the meeting after I've shared the content won't see or receive the document during the meeting. So you may need to make alternative arrangements for making the document available to anyone who is late to class or misses the session altogether. Or if this applies to only one or two participants, it's feasible to resend the document to them individually as a private send. And you'll see that process in the second half of this video tutorial. Now, with the Zoom group chat panel showing, I'm going to leave the to pop-up at the bottom set to everyone in meeting. Notice that I could send out the files privately to specific individuals in the meeting if required. Then I'll click the file button to show the open dialog box. Now I just need to use standard Windows or Mac navigation techniques to go to the location of the file I want to share. So I'll navigate to the folder where I've got the file I want to send out to my students. I'll go into the To Students folder and here it is, the PDF file I want to send. I'll click once on the file to select it, then I'll click the Open button. And you'll see that the thumbnail appears in the Zoom group chat panel indicating that the message has been sent to everyone in the meeting. That's now done. Next, let's go to one of the participants. Let's go to Sid's computer to see how a participant receives and deals with the files sent out by the host. First, notice that Sid is wearing an old cap today, just to make sure that you don't confuse him with the other guy. Also notice that the chat panel isn't open. But notice that he gets a notification above the chat button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Zoom window. And if that's not enough, the chat button has turned orange to alert him to the arrival of a file. So let's click the chat button to show the chat panel on the right of the screen. And there's the PDF document Rob, the host, sent out to all the participants in this Zoom class. Notice who it's from. Notice it's to everyone currently in this meeting. In this case, it's a homework assignment. And if I move my cursor onto the file thumbnail, you'll see that Sid gets a download option allowing him to download the file. That's what I'll do. I'll click to download the file. On my Windows laptop, I now get a standard save as dialog box, and I can use this to navigate to the folder on my laptop where I want to save the file. If you're using a Mac, when you click the download option, the file is automatically saved to your downloads folder. On my Windows laptop, I'm just going to save it into this folder from Teach. This is the folder I've got set up for receiving assignments for this class. I'll click the Save button and that's now safely tucked away. I've downloaded a copy of the file and it won't cause me any problems when it disappears at the end of the meeting from the chat panel. 
That's a really important point to emphasize because when this meeting ends, all the files that are currently in the Zoom group chat will also disappear with the meeting. The next task to do from SID's laptop is to send in an assignment to the host. In this case, it's a Word document. The key point here is that he doesn't want to send it to every participant in this meeting. He wants to send it to the host, Rob, his teacher, and nobody else. And to do that, he's going to select the host from the two pop-up at the bottom of the chat panel. You'll see the label that appears. He's now sending this file privately, so only the host will get it. So I'll click the file button. I'll navigate to the file that I want to send to my teacher. That is its Word document and I'll click open. And there it is. There's the confirmation. It's been sent successfully. And that's it for Sid. To finish off this tutorial, I'll go back to the host's computer. Welcome back to your host where I'm waiting for Sid to send me in an assignment. It's a little bit late, but as long as he gets it in within the next couple of minutes, I'll be happy. And there it is from Sid to me privately. And again, what's important now is I need to download this file and save it. I'll navigate to the folder where I want this to go from students. Here's the file. I've got Sid's initials on it so I can recognize it amongst maybe 15 or 20 others. I'm going to click on save and that's it. Again, notice the very helpful bit of interface detail there, the little green circle with a tick or check mark to indicate that this has been downloaded and saved. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like the like if you like to like. Better still, subscribe to my channel. There are links in the show more section below the description below this video to my other Zoom video tutorials.